Hey guys, I'm Sam Cambetus and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the Amazon Fire TV. So the Fire TV is a device that you plug into the HDMI port on the back of your TV and it pretty much turns your TV into a smart TV. So you can have apps such as Netflix and Spotify. If you're in America you might be using Hulu or obviously Amazon because it's an Amazon product. There's a whole bunch of different apps you can put on it which is really cool and it's also in 4K. There are different versions of the Fire TV. This one cost me about $130 or $40, but there are cheaper versions. Um, so anyways, let's get into the unboxing and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. First thing we're going to do is plug the dongle into the HDMI port on the back of our TV. So if we just come behind here, we can see the HDMI port there. And then we need to get the micro USB cable and we can either plug it into the USB port on the back of your TV or into the power point in the wall. Because I live in Australia, they have given me an adapter, so I would plug it in like that. Plug it into the wall on the power board. And the USB goes into there. And then we'd plug the micro USB into the dongle under here. Alright, let's turn it on. Okay, for the setup, I'm just going to be doing it on my computer monitor. So it's the same thing. You just have to plug the dongle into the HDMI port and you can use the USB port on your monitor but if it doesn't output enough power you'll need to plug it into the wall. Okay so as soon as you plug it into the power it should start up. Okay, so now we've got the Fire TV up and running, let's install Netflix on there. So we're just going to go up to the top and if you see just here it says learn more. If we just flick through, it has like TNT, Showtime, Netflix, let's go OK on Netflix. And you can see it's free to download, so I'm going to go up and click OK. To get it okay it's queuing to download and yep got it so now that's downloading and then we can go open okay because I already have an account I'll sign in okay cool so now we have Netflix and let's just go back to the home menu so now you can see under your apps we've got Netflix okay so my thoughts on the Amazon Fire TV are that it's a great device if you live in places like America and you have access to Amazon Prime here in Australia um, we don't have Amazon Prime um, so you know I'm mainly using things like Netflix um, so I feel like spending $140 on a device like this is a bit much when I can buy other Android TV devices for around $50 that will do the same thing and I won't have all the Amazon Prime advertising all over it. Um, I did find that because I live in Australia, my Amazon account is set to Australia as a region. So after about an hour of using um, the Fire TV, the your apps and games row went blank and I couldn't view any of my apps and games and even if I went to the apps and games tab up the top um, that was just blank as well 
I did find a fix for this. Um, I'll put a link in the description below of the forum, which had advice of other ways to fix it. Um, and you can also see in that thread um, where it says Samantha, you'll see uh, my fix that fixed the issue for me. Um, so overall, if you live in places that have accessed Amazon Prime, I think it's a great product. But if you live in Australia, I wouldn't recommend this product. Um, I'd recommend getting another Android TV box or dongle um, for a lot cheaper. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.